Welcome to day 59 of What You Have to Know. Sharon Farnell from here. And today we're talking about uh, lifetime value of the customer, LTV strategies to supersize and grow your business and the importance of them. I'll share a couple of them. Uh, well, I'll do it right now. A couple of them, a couple of my favorites are create a referral program. Listen to your ideal customers and repeat customers and clients. Create content, promotions, offers, specials just for them. Offer a... Uh, in addition to a referral program, you can actually have, if you do online digital products, you can have an affiliate program. Uh, reward people who bring you more business. Reward people who are loyal and stay with your business. Uh, put them first in terms of uh, your offers and promotions. And actually, I always create a group of people of ideal of clients and customers, loyal clients and customers that I test and tweak different products on. I did it in the offline world in different industries and I do it in the online world in different industries as well because it's a really powerful way to find out if what you're putting out there is for the people that you're designing it for or not, right? If we just create things in a vacuum, they may or may not work and actually they're a multiple of times more likely not to work than if we put them out with a small group test and tweak. Keeping in mind that the people were we're having test things love us already. Uh, and so our actual results when we scale it or put it out in the world might not be as good as uh, if we had a mix of people that do and don't like us. That's the power of focus groups and things. Well, I don't even know if people use focus groups anymore. I'm, I'm out of that part of, of the world. Uh, create content to engage and keep engaging people. That's one of the strategies for uh, keeping people with us longer. Uh, Optimize your customer service. I I don't know how many times I've been horrified that I have been a, a long-term customer of a product or service or, or a client of someone's and their, someone in their organization treated me like I was a POS and didn't matter at all. Guess what? That feeling sticks with you much longer than all of the good things that and good experiences you've had with that company. So be very careful and aware of that. I always tell everybody, Customer service is every person in the organization's job, just like quality is everyone in the organization's job. Uh, there's certain functions that everybody does as part of their own job. Customer service means if I'm internal to the business, my customer is the next person in line who I deliver what it is I deliver to them. Uh, reward your most loyal customers and clients. I, I cannot believe how many companies do not do this. And it's because they don't understand the lifetime value of a customer. Here's an example. I've been using the same eyeliner since I was 15 years old. I am now 64 years old. So what, even with that one small product, what has been the lifetime value of me as a customer for that company and for that brand? I don't know if they know that or not. Probably not because they're a big, you know, multi, uh, hundreds and hundreds of million dollar company, if not a billion dollar company, I don't know. But uh, I don't know if they even know that or if they calculate that or if they track that. But I say that's one of the competitive advantages we have. If we know that a customer is worth $100,000 to us, even if we're selling them a small product or service over the course of their lifetime, aren't we going to treat them differently in every interaction and potential customers in every interaction, knowing that that is the possibility than if we think they're just buying a, a $5 product or service from us. Something to think about. I think it changes our mindset and that's part of why it's so powerful. And it, it ought not change how we treat people, but it does change how we treat people. Uh, benefit from cross-selling and upselling. We talked about that as well. So uh, there's a lot of different ways to increase the lifetime value of your customer. But first, you have to know what it is, how you're going to calculate it, and if you're going to track it or not. I also recommend it as a KPI. I think it's a great key performance indicator to know and then track how you're doing against that uh, in reality. And that's it's super easy to do. You can do it by hand or on an Excel spreadsheet, et cetera. Uh, I think that we forget that we don't have to overcomplicate everything. Uh, there's businesses and industries that I've been involved in that are super duper complicated and uh, detail oriented. And that's awesome. But that is not me, which is probably why I'm not in corporate America anymore. I can do those things, but I don't love them. So I choose to do other things and measure other things. But the older I get, the more I find 
you can keep things simple. And the more you can simplify, the more you can teach and let other people help you do things. It's why I'm such a believer in documentation and systems and processes and procedures. I don't, I don't do it because I'm a detail-oriented person. I do them because I realize what a powerful tool they are for everything from running our business, improving our business, training and teaching and coaching other people, sharing information, et cetera. It's just makes our life so much easier than if we just wing it every time. Uh, for the Let's Grow Annual Challenge, we are on step four of our soul process, which is progress. How do we know if the action that we took yesterday and the actions we're taking are actually closing the gap and moving us from where we are to where we want to be? We find a way to measure that, which is kind of like lifetime value of a customer. We pick a measurement and we use that to help us know if we're moving toward what we want or away from what we want. Because whenever we do anything, we don't always go in just a straight line from here to there, A to B. Sometimes there's a whole lot of bumps and, and obstacles along the road that we have to overcome. All right, that's all I've got today. If I can help you in any way, hit me up and ask. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.